In this tech snip, we're going to go over how to install PoshBot, a PowerShell based bot framework, and connect it to Slack. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is install the PoshBot module from the PowerShell gallery. So we'll go ahead and execute the install module command to install PoshBot into our current user scope. And now we can import the module using the import module command. Now we need to create a new bot in Slack. So let's navigate to this URL to create a bot and get our bot token that we'll use in PoshBot to connect to Slack. We need to give our bot a username, so let's give it a name of PoshBot and then click Add Bot Integration. Now we need to copy the newly created bot token into the clipboard as we'll need it in a second. At this point, we have the option of customizing the bot name, uploading a custom icon image or using an emoji icon, and giving it a description such as chat ops. Now we'll click Save Integration. We can head back over to VS Code now to save the bot token into a hash table. We're going to splat this hash table to new PoshBot configuration to create our configuration object. But before we do that, we need to verify our Slack username as this is sometimes different than the display name you typically see in Slack. Make sure you replace this section here with your specific Slack workspace name. Now we can navigate to this URL and grab our Slack username. You can see my Slack username is devblackops, so I'll copy that to the clipboard and put it in our hash table. And we'll go ahead and load that hash table into our PowerShell session and then splat that hash table to the new PoshBot configuration function. This will return us a complete PoshBot configuration object. We can then take a look at the configuration object by piping it to format list. You can see that there is quite a bit of optional configuration we can set in PoshBot, but we can leave the defaults for now. Next, we need to create a backend instance for Slack. To do that, we'll use new PoshBot Slack backend and give it our backend configuration properties. We'll then pipe that to format list to see what it looks like. Now that we have our configuration and backend instances, we can create the bot instance. We'll use new PoshBot instance and pass in our objects. We can also pipe our bot instance to format list to take a look at what was created. Now we can pipe the bot instance to start PoshBot to start it up interactively. Let's head on over to Slack now. We can see that the bot status is showing green, so we know that it has connected successfully. PoshBot must be a member of a channel for it to receive messages there, so let's invite it to the demo channel. Let's run the built-in PoshBot command status to verify that it's working end-to-end. -to -end. Looks like we have a working PoshBot installation. In subsequent snips, I'll go over some more PoshBot capabilities to enable ChatOps workflows.